Ba-doom, ba-doom, ba-doom. What's up, guys? NLW here with another Retro Game Treasure unboxing video. Sadly, will be my last box of this. At what I was getting paid cost for this, for like a 42 a month for this. So, uh, it became costly for me, at least. For, for me personally, this is nothing on... Virtual Game Treasure or their prices or anything. I'm just saying, for me, it was an expense that I needed to cut as of this point. And I feel like getting something like this is a bit of a luxury. And you know what? I afforded this for about six months. And it, it, it's kind of run its course for me. Uh, will I miss getting a box every month? Eh, probably not. Because that $42, you know, that's going to go actually to something else. I mean... The Too Many Games convention here in Philadelphia. It's not even Philly, it's in Oaks, Pennsylvania. Eh. Well, that's coming up in July, so I'm going to probably be putting that $42 <laughs> towards that instead. So I can probably get games that will really bump up my collection. PS2, PS3, PS1, something. But as you know with this, this will be uh, generally what Genesis, Super Nintendo and uh, Dreamcast games. That's what, that was what was on my list. So, being my last box from them, let's actually see how we do. As you guys know from the last few videos, tape's already pre-cut. I have not looked inside this at all. So, let's dive in, and you can hear ambulances <laughs> going by. I don't know if you can hear that quite right. Yep, someone fell. <laughs> All right, let's get the old bubble wrap out. Let's not peek and see what we have coming to us. Oh, Sonic and Knuckles. You know, I don't actually have this. This is quite interesting. It will be a treat to at least try this out. One I haven't actually had the opportunity to try. Hmm. Out of my way, bubble wrap. Next... Super Nintendo, and... Huh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. I've heard this is more of a uh, beginner's RPG. For me, I haven't played it myself. I haven't played many uh, Super Nintendo RPGs, because I feel like... Nowadays, RPGs, they tell you where to go, or who to talk to, or describe them. And in games like this, they don't really do that that much, but in, oh, maybe that's different. And, let's see, oh, got a, oh, it's Dreamcast and it's sealed. Oh, we got Coaster Works. Build the ride of your life. Well, I can see, actually, I don't think this is, this doesn't feel factory. Oh. Nope, doesn't have the Y seams. This is at least I think it does. Yeah, hold on. It's folded here, not on the top. So I think this is a reseal. <laughs> and I don't... Coaster... I don't think this would uh, fit into the categories that I asked for. Um, action, adventure, role-playing... Fighting and beat em ups. I guess you could consider this a role playing game because you're building your own theme park. I highly doubt it. <laughs> like, okay, we'll we'll give them Sonic Knuckles and then we'll give them Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. But you, know, you gotta throw in that coaster works. Well, no, oh well. As a final box to Retro Game Treasure, I guess it's appropriate. I get two games that I'll probably enjoy and one game that'll probably sit at the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> But hey guys, thank you for watching this little series of mine, and I'll see you in the next video.